one, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Good afternoon. As we prepare to celebrate these mysteries in this beautiful month of May, which we dedicate to our Blessed Mother, we turn to the Lord God now and ask for his mercy and forgiveness for any time when we might have failed in our Christian responsibilities and way of life. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who restore human nature to yet greater dignity than at its beginnings, look upon the amazing mystery of your loving kindness, and in those you have chosen to make new through the wonder of rebirth, may you preserve the gifts of your enduring grace and blessing. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. From Paphos, Paul and his companions set sail and arrived at Perga in Pamphylia. But John left them and returned to Jerusalem. They continued on from Perga and reached Antioch in Pisidia. On the Sabbath, they entered into the synagogue and took their seats. After the reading of the law and the prophets, the synagogue officials sent word to them, My brothers, if one of you has a word of exhortation for the people, please speak. So Paul got up, motioned with his hand, and said, Fellow children of Israel, and you others who are God-fearing, listen. The God of this people Israel chose our ancestors and exalted the people during their sojourn in the land of Egypt. With uplifted arm, he led them out, and for about 40 years, he put up with them in the desert. When he had destroyed seven nations in the land of Canaan, he gave them their land as an inheritance at the end of about 450 years. After these things he provided judges up to Samuel, the prophet. Then they asked for a king. God gave them Saul, son of Kish, a man from the tribe of Benjamin for 40 years. Then he removed him and raised up David as their king. Of him he testified, I have found David, son of Jesse, a man after my own heart. He will carry out my every wish. From this man's descendants, God, according to his promise, has brought to Israel a savior, Jesus. John heralded his coming by proclaiming a baptism of repentance to all the people of Israel. And as John was completing his course, he would say, what do you suppose that I am? I am not he. Behold, one is coming after me. I am not worthy to unfasten the sandals of his feet. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. The responsorial psalm is, Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Forever, Forever I, will I will sing the goodness, goodness of, the of the Lord. The favors of the Lord I will sing forever. Through all generations my mouth shall proclaim your faithfulness. For you have said, My kindness is established forever. In heaven you have confirmed your faithfulness. Forever, forever I will sing the goodness, goodness of the Lord. I have found David my servant. With my holy oil I have anointed him. That my hand may always be with him, and that my arm may make him strong. Forever, forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. 
My faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him, and through my name shall his horn be exalted. He shall say of me, You are my Father, my God, the Rock, my Savior. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Understand this, blessed are you if you do it. I am not speaking of all of you, I know those whom I have chosen, but so that the scripture might be fulfilled, the one who ate my food and has raised his heel against me. From now on I am telling you before it happens, so that when it happens you may believe that I am. Amen, amen, I say to you. Whoever receives the one I send receives me, and whoever receives me receives the one who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In today's scripture, sacred scripture, Jesus gives us two reminders. One in referring back to his washing of the feet of the apostles, which Normally, we celebrate on Holy Thursday at the Liturgy of Holy Thursday. He's reminding us that we too, although we do carry the exalted title of Christian, should never feel that we are so exalted that we are above anyone else in terms of service and availability to them where possible and in doing our best to make life a little better in the world in which we live and for those who exist with us in this world, however we can. And also he reminds us that we too are being sent. We must continue Jesus' mission here on earth. And so as he says, whoever receives the one I send, whoever receives us then, should be receiving Jesus. And so it begs us to ask ourselves and to reflect each time that in our interactions with one another, who is the other party receiving? Jesus or some convoluted version of Jesus that we may allow to get in our way of acting in a Christian-like way of service, concern, and respect. We must always see to it that we bring Jesus to others so that in receiving us, they receive him. God bless you.
The intention of today's Mass is for Jack Taggart, the repose of the soul of Jack Taggart. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray that my sacrifice of yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that, purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to loud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes, comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. Save, save us, Savior, Savior of the world, the world for, for by your cross and resurrection you, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Cardinal Archbishop, and all the clergy and religious. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saints Peter and Paul, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Jesus taught us to call God our Father, and so we have the privilege to pray. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. spiritually we pray with and for you the spiritual communion prayer my, my jesus i believe, I believe that you are truly present in the most blessed, blessed sacrament i, I love you above all things and i desire to possess you within my soul since, since i am unable at this moment to receive you sacramentally come at least spiritually into my heart i embrace you as being already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you.
Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us the fruits of this Easter sacrament and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food through Christ our Lord. Amen. I thank again Brian for being with us, our Director of Music Ministry, and Ed to be as with us as lector today. Ed is engaged to one of our choir members and they're in preparation for marriage. We had to adjust your marriage date because of this pandemic to some extent. So pray that this ends soon so Ed and Aubrey can get married peacefully. <laughs> but they are in joyful preparation for marriage and we're glad that Ed could be with us as lector today. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us abide in peace. Thanks be to God.